Today, I'm pleased to announce Xbox One backward compatibility. Backwards compatibility is most probably the smartest Xbox One feature. It allows you to do something that should be natural, play the games you've already purchased on a newer system from the same platform holder. Also, it introduces a lot of improvements upon the original titles. This factor is particularly interesting with the Xbox One X enhanced games, which get a lot better with higher resolutions and frame rates, improved anti-aliasing and texture filtering. Have a look at our suggestions for the Xbox 360 games you should play on Xbox One. Unfortunately, we had to leave out of the list some of the best supported titles, like Playground Games Forza Horizon. The racing game is now much better on Xbox One X and even features an unlocked frame rate with the default graphics mode enabled. 100 titles this holiday, with hundreds more added in the months to come. Digital X Considering it is now a part of the Xbox One X enhanced lineup, it has never been a better moment to play Fable Anniversary on console. It is a remake of the original Fable, so it has already gone through a process of rebuilding of its graphics and assets, something like Halo Anniversary. It's not a simple remaster or upscale, and it still looks and feels quite fresh. That's without mentioning that it's the best Fable around and the only clearly reflecting the vision of series creator Peter Molyneux, a vision we hope comes back with Fable for one day or another. Crackdown is a fresh new entry in the Xbox One X enhanced games lineup and it looks a completely new title now. Honestly, we compared it to Crackdown 3 and noted that the games are terribly similar side by side. Naturally, this might not be a great news for those of you waiting for Crackdown 3's release, but look at that from the right perspective. You may already own a current gen game if you were playing it on Xbox One X and also get an interesting announcement on the regular Xbox One. Same as for Fable, the original Crackdown is considered the best in the series so it could be worth a look before the third game releases this spring. The Xbox One X version of The Witcher 2 Assassin's of Kings is so much better now. It's the best console edition you'll be playing until a proper remaster gets released, which is something that's not happening quite soon. The majority of video gamers has discovered The Witcher as a series with the third game, Wild Hunt, the biggest and best for many different reasons. That's a shame they can fix now thanks to the backwards compatibility program. The Witcher 2 might not be as great as the latest game in the series, but believe us, it is worth of your time. It is a great title, both of its own and as a production involving the characters you ended up loving in the latest chapter. And the fact it just entered the BC program and is even enhanced for Xbox One X means you don't have any excuses anymore. Red Dead Redemption has never been released for PC, so consoles are the only place where you can play it. Back in the days, it had frame rate issues bringing it as low as around 20 FPS, especially during close ups and shooting faces. Xbox One backwards compatibility fixes all these issues, rendering the most solid Red Dead Redemption experience out there. So, if you want a 30 FPS rock solid Red Dead Redemption experience, Xbox One has you served. Also, a sequel is releasing this year, so you might be willing to refresh your memory with one of the best open world games ever. Our own game. Threw up trains. The original Gears of War is out of the list because there's already a great remaster out there and you can play it on Xbox One, but the other three games are still Xbox 360 exclusives, so you won't be able to play elsewhere unless you have an Xbox One, since Gears of War 2, 3 and Judgment are all featured in the backwards compatibility program. Technically, that didn't have any serious issues BC had to fix right away. Anyway, a more consistent frame rate allows for a greater accuracy in the shooting phases, so you have a slight improvement upon the originals and the opportunity to revisit the entire series before the fifth game releases. All this without returning to an old giant console, not to mention they're all included in the Xbox Game Pass. I hereby charge Kilo Squad with desertion, cowardice, trespassing, the theft of experimental military technology, 
and treason. <laughs>